Welcome everyone to another video. Today I will be walking you through how to fix a Motorola phone when it stops detecting the SIM card. Before we get into the video, please, if you are new in the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And now let me show you a different way how to fix that. Let's go with the video. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off this phone. That's the first thing you need to do, turn off your phone. Turn it off, then remove the SIM card. Okay, once the SIM card is out, now go ahead and turn on your phone. Let me wait until the phone is on to show you what you need to do. Okay, once the phone is on, unlock your phone, then you're gonna click on settings. Now search for battery optimize. Okay, here, battery optimization, just click on that. Then you're gonna click on battery optimization one more time. Now you're gonna click on no optimized and click on all apps. Okay guys, now you're gonna search for SIM card toolkit. Just type SIM and you will see SIM toolkit. Just click on that. And then you're gonna click on done optimize. Then click on done. Now what you need to do, restart your phone. And let me just wait until the phone is on to show you what else you need to do. Okay, once the phone is on, unlock your phone and click on settings. Now let's go ahead and click on apps and notification. Here you're gonna click on apps info, then you're gonna search for SIM toolkit. So once you type SIM, you will see SIM toolkit, just click on that. Then let's go ahead and click on storage and cache. Then click on clear storage and clear cache. Now you can go to the main page and put your SIM card back in the phone. Now restart your phone. So your phone should be good to go. Let me just wait until the phone is on to make sure that this phone now is reading the SIM card. If you still got the same problem, I will show you other solution. So let me just wait. Yeah, now this phone is detecting the SIM card, but if you still got the same problem, let me show you other solution that you should do. So now guys, what you're gonna do, you're gonna force restart your phone. To do that, you're gonna press the power button and volume down at the same time until your phone goes off, okay? So let's do it. You're gonna press the power button and volume down at the same time. As you can see, the phone went off. When you see this menu, now you're gonna press only the power button one time. So your phone, as you can see, is turning back on. So let me just go until the phone is on. Sometimes there's apps interfering with the SIM card and you know, that can cause the problem. By doing that, your phone should start 
detecting the SIM card. So if you still got the same problem, let me show you what else you can do. So connect your phone to the Wi-Fi. So you need Wi-Fi for this, okay? Then click on settings. Scroll the way down and click on system. Then click on advanced. Now let's go ahead and click on system updates. So if you see your phone has an update available, like this one right now, it says download and install. You need to do this guys, because sometimes when your phone has an available update, so your phone start getting problem, like not detecting the SIM card, not detecting the memory card, stuff like that. So just make sure you update your phone software and that also will help you to fix the problem. Just click on download. Like I said, you need Wi-Fi for that. It's a lot better and some phones need Wi-Fi to do this process, you know what I mean? So just make sure you connect your phone to the Wi-Fi and then download and install. After you do that, just see the phone run until the process is done. Sometimes it takes like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, all depends how fast is your internet. After that, your phone should be good to go. Now guys, if you see your phone is detecting the SIM card, just make sure all the network settings are set the right way. Let me show you. Let's click on settings. Then click on network and internet. Then let's go ahead and click on mobile network. And here you gotta make sure the mobile data is on. That's allow you to have internet in your phone. Then scroll down and click on network type and make sure you have your phone running on LTE on automatically LTE 3G and 2G. So that way you will have 4G in your phone. You know what I mean? So you will have a good internet in your phone. And that's all you need to do guys if you see your internet is acting slow just restart your phone and that will improve your internet guys